go. Here's all the clips we have to work with. Now, since we have all this, should anything happen while you are doing your project and it crashes, bring up Cinelera again and just go to File, Load Backup. And because Cinelera is remembering every single change you make, it will load the most recent version of your uh, project. And then you can move on from there. If you don't do this very first thing and you load you know, something like this, uh, you're toast. <laughs> But now that we have all of our stuff loaded and all of our things defined, we are going to save the project. And let's save the project as, well, you know, actually I already did it. <laughs> so we'll save it as editing. Do I want to override it? Yeah, why not? Now then. Uh, you want to make sure this little line here is at the beginning so we rewind go home and then also depending upon the length of the clips that you're using you're going to want to control how much time is displayed in your little timeline here right now we have got eight seconds at a time visible and you can change that depending on what your project's doing to four seconds, one second, you know, several minutes. But eight seconds sounds pretty good to me. <clears throat> now, if you have already previewed your stuff and trimmed it up and it's ready to go in the project, at this point, all you got to do is right click on it and paste. It will then paste into your project at your insertion point, whether it's here or back at the beginning. Uh, but if you're like me or most other people, you probably don't have it that ready to go. So you can right click on it and tell it you want to view it. This will throw it up to the viewer. Or keep things a little simpler, double click. And there you have it. <laughs> So I think I want to start stuff off on this quick little project with uh, this clip. So we're going to take a look at our window here. Now here is something I wanted to show you. You see these lines? This should be an even X. But it's not. This is interlacing. This is why you don't want to do your project interlaced. Kino captures interlace from my camera for some reason, so in this tutorial I'll show you how to fix that too, because it is pretty basic. cinelera has got a fantastic deinterlacer built into it. So, you want to take a look at the window we have here. This is going to be where you click when you want to do your endpoint, or where you want your clip to stop. This is going to be your clip where you want your, your, where your clip to make it uh, stop. Select what you want to paste in. Then you can splice. Splicing will throw it down into your project wherever this insert point is. You can choose this one and it'll overwrite anything that might happen to be in front of it. <laughs> and don't worry about the rest of this right now. So the part I want, and then you can uh, drag this. This of course will scroll you through your project. So I'm going to want to choose oh, I don't know, I think maybe right here. So we'll start there. And then we can play. Hey, so what we're doing. Hi, man. Hi. Hi. Okay. Well, that's good for me. So we're going to check out point. And if you want to tweak it a little bit, you can either frame by frame it, or you can even <laughs> play it backwards. But this is what I want. So, our tracks are enabled. Put it in there. Boom. That's our first edit. Go to the end of our project right here.
and we're ready for our next clip. Um, let's do, here we go. Double click on that one. This might look a little familiar to you. So we're going to find the part where we want, oh, let's say, Yeah, that's good. And we're gonna actually listen to it. I said I knew. Give it a little roll afterwards. That's our endpoint. Splice it. On to the next one. Jump to the end. There we are. Let's do uh, ah, just a couple more. Double click that one, and now we have a clip ready to go up here in our window. Now, what the part that I want to get is somewhere around in here. And It's going to be in there. Now, take a look here. Here's a better showcase of interlacing. See? We're going to get rid of that and make it a decipherable image. Ooh, can you hear the thunder? Now, this is a pretty long clip. I mean, we're 14 minutes into it. So I want to show you a trick here. Instead of scrolling through the entire project, if you have a long clip that you're wanting to edit, but you just want to deal with a short bit of it where you're going to be scrolling, you go over here to the side, you get your arrow to turn into this little arrow here, and you drag. And you see it's moving backwards. Give you a better view of that from far away. We're going to do it here too and you see it's moving a little forward so what this does is this entire range that this slider can move to shuttle us back and forth is now only going to be using this part of the clip so see So we select what we want. Aiden, come here. Aiden, come here. <laughs> okay, so let's go backwards a little bit. I want to start to be there. see the interlacing. <laughs> and that works for me. Endpoint. Splice. On to the next one. And let's... Uh, Give a quick end here since it's just, just a little demonstration. And let's. Double click. Here we are. How did the bow do me? He would rock, but he'd run away. Go. Then we're now to the bottom of There we go. Made my edit. Click on splice and take you in just so you can see. That's the section we're working with. Splice. Done. If we move our little position to here, you look in your compositor window at what's going on. 
Whee. All right. Now for your compositor window, I set mine to auto so that whatever size it is, I've always got the full project here. You can set it. All kinds of different resolutions. 100% here. But I like seeing what I'm doing. So back to auto. And once again, that's right here. And now we've got our basic project. Let's do some stuff to it. <laughs> 